MVT is a great tool for exploring uh, vector valued functions. It has an application built right in. Applications, vector valued functions. We click it and we get this nice uh, screen. Let's resize it so we can fit everything on it. A vector valued function already comes preloaded. Cosine of x, uh, cosine of t rather, for the x coordinate, sine of t for the y coordinate, and t for the z coordinate. We click the plot button and it plots us. There it is. We can drag this thing and we can see it in 3D, which is very nice. Uh, we can zoom. We can zoom in uh, quite a bit. And we can zoom uh, back out. Now, I've gone a bit too far, but that's OK. This handy dandy little hand, uh, I can drag and get, there it is, and get my graph back. I can also project this onto the XY plane. I can project it onto the ZY plane. And I can project it onto the XZ plane. I'm sorry, that's XY plane, ZX plane, and ZY plane, respectively. And to go back home from anywhere, I just click this one and it brings me back. Okay, now let's take a look at the function t three times, oops, three times cosine t and two times sine of t. I'll click plot and there it is. And I can do all the same things. I'm translating it. I can uh, rotate it around. I can project into the y-x, into the z-x, and into the z-y plane. Now at this point, notice it looks like a perfect circle when I project it onto the z-y plane because the y-coordinate is 3 cosine t, uh, z-coordinate is 2 sine t, but it should look like an ellipse, right? The y-coordinate should go from negative 3 to positive 3, and indeed if you look at the um, tick marks it does, and the x, I'm sorry, the y co the z-coordinate should go from negative 2 to positive 2, and indeed it does, but this particular software, this MVT, likes to make everything a perfect square. So what you have to do is click Show Options, and then let's go over to uh, Y of T and change this from negative 3 to positive 3. And then we'll do the same thing for Z. We'll make it go from negative 3 to positive 3. And when I click Plot, there you'll see what you would expect. There's Z, negative 2 positive 2, and there's y, negative 3, positive 3. And if I click the home view, it looks more like um, uh, an elliptical helix. Okay, So that's some of the stuff that we can do with this program, but we're not done. Um, I can click this little box that says, that says show the vector at t equals 0 0.5, and what I can do is drag this slider, and it will show you the vector from the origin as t traces out from 0 to, uh, in this case, 6 pi. Uh, I can also show the TNB frame, the tangent normal binormal frame, um, starting from any point and going to any point. Now, the interesting thing about the TNB, here we're going to zoom in just a little bit. Right, recall that uh, the T stands for the tangent vector. We can again zoom all this. Uh, the blue one is the normal vector, and the black one is the binormal vector. So the tangent vector is, of course, tangent to the curve at any point. Here it's pointing right at us. There it's pointing off to the side. The normal curve is orthogonal to the tangent. The normal vector is orthogonal to the tangent vector at the point of tangency. And it tells us in what direction the curve is uh, turning. And the binormal, the black vector, is the cross product of these two things and is always orthogonal to the first two. Now the nice thing about that is that it gives you at any point on the curve from the perspective of the particle itself a movable coordinate system which is very convenient when you're solving all sorts of physics problems and you can't express and it's much easier to express things in terms of where you are instead of uh, where the particle is from an outside observer. Um, so that's the TNB frame. Also, you can calculate the length of the curve from 0 to 6 pi, and that'll um, come up. And you can, of course, change those values. And notice also it gives you the curvature and the torsion. Remember, the curvature is a non-zero scalar quantity that tells you how curvy the curve is. So the smaller the curvature, the more flat it is. And when it's 0, it's a perfect line. 
uh, and the torsion can be positive or negative and that tells you how much the curve is breaking out of its current uh, tangent and normal frame. It can break out one way and it's positive. It can break out the opposite way and that would be negative. Um, now the only downside to this lovely lovely piece of software is that you can plot only one vector valued function at a time. To do more than one at a time you'll have to use another piece of software like for instance uh, GNU plot and I'll show you that in the next video.